There used to be 19 spawning populations of lake sturgeon in Lake Erie, and right now we estimate that there are two. There's some in the St. Clair Detroit River system where we're at today. There's also another population in the Niagara River, but nothing in between. So beginning in 2018, we started stocking fish in the Maumee River in hopes to reestablish other populations in Lake Erie. So today we're on Lake Huron and we're setting set lines for lake sturgeon. This is one part of the process to restore the Maumee River lake sturgeon population. We're working in partnership with the Coast Guard on this project and we're here at the Coast Guard facility where the fish are being held. This is one of the largest lake sturgeon populations in the Great Lakes. We know that through our marker capture assessments over about the past 12 years. And lake sturgeon come here annually to spawn. And since it's such a large population, it serves as a really good source population to restore other lake sturgeon populations in the Great Lakes. And we know that genetically, this population would have been very similar to the population that was historically in the Maumee River. Behind my shoulder here, there are some orange buoys. On each one of those buoys is a set line and we set those set lines overnight. We'll pull lake sturgeon in, we'll collect length information, weight, and a lot of other biological information once the fish are on board the vessel. This is one of our set lines right here. This is what we call the, the downstream buoy. So on each one of these set lines, there's 50 hooks. You can kind of see the line going down in the water, and the first hook will be about 75 foot up here. You can feel a fish on the line already. There's the fish, it's staying down. Probably a bigger one in the net. One, two, three. So now we are gonna process each one of the fish. We will look at total length, fork length, collect a tissue sample for genetics. We'll use an ultrasound likely to determine the sex of the fish. You know, these fish are our rare threatened species in Michigan and endangered in Canada. So everyone that we catch, we want to just make sure we collect as much information as we can because we might not ever handle these fish again. Another thing we do, and probably one of the more important things is we tag the fish. We'll check for a tag and then if it doesn't have a tag, we'll tag it. And that's what we use to estimate population size. This is a juvenile fish, so like, for the fish that we've been stocking in the Maumee River, I would say this is what the fish is gonna look like about three or four years from now. And this fish we're not releasing because it's gonna go in our tanks and use to build the Maumee River population. And what we're doing now is we captured one ripe male that we'll use in the egg collection process. We're gonna carry it and put it into our holding tanks. So from the St. Clair River to here for a few days, and then the eggs to the Maumee River. So our Fish and Wildlife partners, they bring them to these large tanks where they're held for upwards of a week. The water is pumped right out of the river here, the temperature that the fish are used to, just to see if the fish are ready to drop their eggs. And when they are, there's a massive call that goes out and people flock here to collect the fertilized eggs we bring back to the Maumee River. We bring up the fish, and these are fish that are four to six feet long. They are massive, they're heavy, they're strong, and so it takes a few people to actually collect the milt and the eggs, and they don't collect them all. They want to leave some in there to give them the opportunity to still reproduce naturally, and they're taken back out and released into the river where they'll go about their lives. Once they collect the gametes from the sturgeon, we mix those together to fertilize them, drive back to the Toledo Zoo, where our sturgeon technicians have the trailer up and running, and these eggs are gonna be transferred into our vertical hatchers. So they should start developing very soon, and we'll have our sturgeon for the year. If you're interested in supporting this program, helping out, or just being involved in sturgeon in general, there's a number of different ways you can do that. We have an annual sturgeon release where we bring the 3,000 fish we're gonna put into the Maumee River, and we release them bucket by bucket. It's a free event, but if you're interested, you can sponsor a fish, and there's a tag that the fish are implanted with where if it's ever captured again, we'll let you know. One of the things that's been great about this project is just the large public involvement with this work, promoting aquatic stewardship and promoting the return of lake sturgeon into this area.